So what's the name of the beast? This one is the ZIS Ataraxia. It is the mothership of the cruiser that we just looked at earlier. Yeah, yeah. I don't have it fitted with turrets yet, and uh, I'd say about 90% of the internal is not finished yet. Yeah. It's all temporary. The back has small um, hangar for smaller ships, fighters, shuttles, etc. It has it can hold nine of them internally. Yep. We can go inside if you wish. I'm gonna have a check. Yeah, I'll follow you. Oh, Your this is ship beautiful. might actually fit in here. Just. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is beautiful. Oh wow. It's like a proper so... little city. It's like a car park. It's amazing. <laughs> if you want to hop out for a moment, I'll show you the few corridors I have finished so far. Yeah, sure. I'll. Uh... Try and get over here a little bit. There we go. Right. Oh, this is amazing. So how how long has it taken you, and did you build it here? Well, this thing's about a week so far, but it was built on my local server. Yep. Uh, these four passages go into the second ring that you saw on the outside. Uh, the ring is hollow at the moment. Okay, cool. So there's more, basically, out, here, up there. <laughs> out here. Um, this is the plate I use to seal off the uh, main section. This, oh my! Most of this room, <laughs> uh, these blocks are going to be emptied out, and it's going to become a large, basically a giant hangar, wow. which you can see the doors of on either side. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then if we go back the other direction, you'll see the core. Oh, um, immense! Hang on, I'm coming back. Sorry, I'm just sort of trying to get some good <laughs> angles because this thing's expansive and you need to like get quite yep. wide. To... All the power and tanks and shields in the middle there are temporary just so that I was tired of pirates pockmarking a ship. Right. So you'll save the space by reallocating your generators, really? Yeah, it's all going to be moved. Most of the power generation is going to be moved into the two rings. So this is the core. Wow, look at this, look at this. Look at this core room. I'm always blown away by people's core room designs. Look at this. And again, there's the four passages leading down into the ring, which is going to be this one is going to be the main power generator. All right. There's uh, some temporary power generation already in there, but not much. See, there's a good idea. If you've got enough room, you could put in temporary generator and then come back to it and make it like a proper generator room and then delete your original reactor and build something nice there it's a pretty cool idea it's the plan so far that's a cool so idea so that's all the internal I have finished at the moment unfortunately that's cool and we are on the wrong side Whoa. uh oh that's oh, okay nope it's okay. okay it's no it's not okay <laughs> Wait, yeah it is. No it's not. Oh yeah it is. <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind, eh? Here the we go. ship is entirely symmetrical, by the way. Yep. So top and bottom are identical as well as left and right. Oh, I had to leave the sector. What is it again? I'm not too sure. I forgot. Uh, Negative something. Right. Actually, okay, I drop the shuttle. One moment. Okay. So as you can see, the two cruisers will dock on the top and bottom with the with its turrets mounted on the sides. Yeah, that's nice. You got parking for all the attachments. There will be a the large hangar you can see the doors of on either side of the front. Mm. And in the final design, this uh, central piece in the front. Yep. It is, it's going to be open like this all the way 
to the finished design. Behind it is going to be basically a huge cannon. Excellent. Running straight down the center of the hangar. Excellent. Because if anyone's silly to get in front of this thing with a turning rate of whatever it is, they deserve it. It's uh, not very fast. <laughs> no, exactly. But that's what I'm saying. The whole point of you know a big ship is that it'll have one really big gun. And if you're yep, stupid enough to stay still, <laughs> wow, you were stupid. I can give you the stats here real quick. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Currently, it has a mass of 45,832.9. It is a length of 436, height of 101, width of 231. Uh, power is approximately 16 million. Well, power doesn't matter at the moment, because that's temporary. Uh, thrust of 80,000, so almost 2 to 1. And the rest is all temporary. Yeah. You know what I'm loving at the minute? This ring you've got around your jet, around your reactor. And on the inside, you've got an inside yeah. ring which is all lit up in blue and lighting. That is beautiful. The, the, the original design only had these two rings with the small hanger in the middle. And then just as I was expanding onto it, things just kept getting added. That's why the core is so far back on the ship, unfortunately. And it looks like we have pirates coming again. Ah, they won't last. Oh, oh that's not. beautiful. Thought I saw them. It's real nice. So what's the tiny ship? There's a tiny, tiny blue ship. Uh, that's mine. We'll look at that one in a sec. Oh, so what are your plans for the turrets on this beast? Have you got anything? Or are you just going to use standard turrets from your fleet? No plans yet, unfortunately. I'm probably going to custom build the turrets for this since there's multiple sizes on it. Yeah. What was the name again? The Ataraxia. Ataraxia. Sweet. What's the name of the faction slash fleet as well? The original, the two ships that you uh, see, the cruiser and his uh, mothership are part of the Ghost Legion. Yep. The other two are allies of us. Sweet. Yeah, that one. So that one's Ghost Legion. That's the ship that docks on top. And obviously we looked at that previously. Okay, so yep. what's the you faction for the, the Erebus? It's the Nox Box. Nox Box. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, the, the cruiser on top, you can see basically without its turrets. Yeah, it's the same. Oh. oh, we have a proper pirate fleet we can test something on later on. Cool. Sounds fun. I'm thinking I need to buff the pirates again, guys. Your ships are too big. <laughs> 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 yeah, this one's not going to be designed for combat, considering I'm using standard basic hull. Yeah. No, it's lovely. Okay, so I'm moving on to the next ship in the lineup. Ballistics reviews in Bobby Fights will follow in a separate video now, under Proving Grounds. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.